Hi guys, it's Emma. Today we're going to be talking about exponents with fractional and decimal bases. So just as a recap, let's remember what happens with whole number bases with exponents. For example, we could do 2 to the third power. Remember, this would be 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 multiplied by itself 3 times equals 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 again is 8. And as another example, we could do 10 to the fourth, which is 10 times itself 4 times. And remember when multiplying by 10, you can multiply by 1 and add 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So 10,000. Now let's look at what happens when we do, we raise a fractional base to an exponent. First example, I want to do 2 to the third, one half to the third. So it's the same idea. One half times one half times one half. And you would do this the same as if you were just multiplying two numbers. One times one times one, the numerator is one, over two times two times two, which is eight. So basically it's the same thing just with fractions. So it's a little bit harder. Now, instead of doing 10 to the fourth, we can do 1 tenth to the fourth. So 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth equals, multiply the numerators together, it's 1. Denominators is 10,000. 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. You do the same thing even if, no matter what the fraction is. So as a last example of this, do 3 fourths to the third, which is 3 fourths times itself three times, which is 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So it's the same idea if we do decimal bases. So let's try and do 0 0.2 squared. So this is just 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. Remember when multiplying decimals, we can first multiply 2 times 2, which is 4 and then move over the decimal place afterwards. So both of these have the decimal place move one to the left. So we move the decimal place over two places and we get 0 0.04. Now let's try and do 0 0.02 to the third. This is 0 0.02 multiplied by itself three times. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So we have to move the decimal place over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's a very small number. Notice that when you put a fractional base to a power, the number gets smaller. So here, one half goes to one eighth, one tenth to one over ten thousand. The numbers are all smaller. And you cut it in half. So you start off with this is what you start off with. One half. Then you multiply one half by one half the first time, you're taking one half of one half, cutting this in half again. And you get 
this orange box right here. When you apply one half again, you end up with this yellow box, which is equal to one eighth of the original box. Look at it like this. One eighth. So just some things to remember that exponents work the same way no matter what the base is. So just the same as if the base was a two or a one half, you have to multiply the base by itself however many times of the exponent. And also that fractional and decimal bases or any number smaller than one will become smaller when raised to the power anything greater than one. Thanks for watching.